More than 10,000 things to control, 7,000 things to measure, and 30,000 staters to survey, distributed over more than 10 square kilometers. That was a problem which faced the controlled group. Some of these things are distributed around the ring tunnel, such as vacuum pumps, beam monitors, and magnets. Other things to be controlled are in the various auxiliary buildings on the surface. There are power supplies of many types and sizes. water circulating systems to cool the magnets and other components. And radio frequency amplifiers that supply the power to accelerate the protons. To bring all the controls and indications back to the panels in the control room, as has been done in the past, would not only involve many thousands of kilometers of cables, but would require hundreds of meters of control racks and probably bicycles for the operators. To avoid such a situation and to allow the operator to control the machine from a desk, it must be possible to connect any part of the equipment to a few controls and indicating devices according to the action that is to be carried out. This is done by touch buttons, not the usual push buttons, but a new device which can present up to 16 buttons at a time, with legends written on the face of a television screen. A first choice of the system to be worked on can be made by putting a finger over the button when the legend will change, giving a further choice. It can be likened to a tree, where the first choice is the system or branch, the next the subsystem or twig, the next the sort of action desired or leaf. At the leaf stage, all the conditions are set up to do the specified job. The operator may be given a list of things he can control, from which he can make a choice using the ball to move a cursor. And then use the knob to change the setting at some distant device. He can be shown a mimic diagram from which he can choose the part he wants to operate. Using the ball to position a cursor, and then perform the required action by touching a series of buttons. 